All right, so I leave tomorrow to climb Mount Kilimanjaro, and uh, I've been getting a lot of questions about, well, are you prepared? And the answer is I don't really know. I'll guess I'll, f I'll find out when I'm there. But uh, other questions are like, well, 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 what are you bringing? What type of gear do you need? So I've laid out everything that I'm bringing on my bed, um, and I thought I'd walk through some of the gear at a really high level for you, um, and, and why I'm bringing some. So first off, um, I have my passport. Can't really get too far without that. Um, and then I have some cash with me, um, new $100 bill. Uh, I need to pay $100 for the visa when I get in the country, and then um, I also need to tip some of the guides and stuff on my trip, um, and I might even buy something. Uh, going through the more traditional gear, um, I have a pair of non-cotton uh, hiking pants. They're Under Armour, uh, but when I'm in uh, warmer weather, I'll most likely be hiking in these. Um, and then I have two pair of convertible pants. So back in the day, these things like used to look hideous, but now they are, are zip-offs. So uh, I don't know if you can tell from the camera, but uh, the legs zip off so they can be shorts or pants, so they're really versatile and functional in camp. Uh, I have a hat. Um, my mom sent me this one, so mom, thanks. Uh, don't know if it looks that cool, but you'll see it'll keep the sun off my neck if I choose to wear this um, and out of my face. Um, and then we have socks, and socks are actually really important when you're hiking for long periods of time. Uh, I've referenced that uh, in a couple other videos I've done. Uh, but I have three pair of Icebreaker Merino Wool socks, uh, medium weight, uh, calf high. So these should be great, Merino Wool, uh, fantastic material. Um, shout out to New Zealand there. Um, and then I do have two liners. So sometimes you wear a liner to reduce the friction um, on the foot and it prevents blisters. Um, other times when it's really cold, uh, liners will also help keep your feet warm. Uh, so I'd, I'll, I'll most likely alternate liners every day, um, but probably on the day I actually summit, it's going to be cold out, uh, I'll, I'll definitely have liners on for the warmth. Um, now, whenever you're doing anything outdoors, it's all about layering, um, kind of like onions, right? So there's different layers, uh, and you usually have a base layer. Um, usually that's some sort of a compression gear, um, something that is moderately warm, uh, but things that you could easily put things on top of, right? So I have a couple different type of base layers. I have a, a natural one, again, merino wool base layer, long sleeve. Uh, Icebreaker is the brand there. Um, then I have two synthetic tops. Uh, one's Nike, one's Under Armour. Um, so a little more compression gear, uh, but it'll keep some warmth in and I can layer on top of it. Um, whenever you're doing anything outdoors too, uh, you're also not wearing cotton. So cotton's bad. So that's why you have synthetic and wool, because um, some of the properties are a lot more advantageous. In terms of day-to-day -day hiking shirts, two tops, uh, an Under Armour and a North Face, uh, they dry very quickly, so again, when it's warm, on warm days, I'll probably just wear this. Um, I, I have two because uh, you really want a pair of hiking clothes because you're gonna sweat during the day, and then when you get into your camp at night, you're gonna be cold, so you want something you can change into, so I'll probably alternate off um, every day what it is I'm wearing. Uh, some other Important things to note, I uh, have my Nalgene, I'll probably actually want to bring two Nalgenes. Uh, I have a Camelback, uh, so Camelback's actually the brand, but basically a bladder that can go in my day pack. Uh, that's a two liter one, so at any point I'm gonna be carrying between about two, actually that's not true, three or four liters of water with me. Uh, uh, we have some stuff sacks over here. So uh, these are waterproof um, and just great for organizing certain gear I have. And then we have my underwear. So I'm gonna to try to hold this up to the camera. I'm not sure if it'll see it or not. Here, I'll try to get a little closer. But it says 17 countries, six weeks, one pair of underwear, or maybe two. Uh, so what I'm doing is, is I have two pair of hiking underwear. Um, again, good material, uh, great properties. And then um, I have a day, a pair of uh, in-camp underwear. So same material, uh, there's not compression, so I'll be a little more comfortable. Um, so moving on a little bit outside of, of my base gear and what I'm wearing on a daily basis, because again, I'm going to be going through a lot of different climate zones. Um, we have our, our outer layers. So uh, first off, we have hands. I have two pairs of gloves. One's a, a light to medium weight. Uh, these are black diamonds. Um, and then I have a pair of uh, Gore-Tex North Face, so when it's really cold, um, and also if I need something waterproof. I have duct tape because you can't go anywhere without it. I have what's called gaiters. So these go over your boots. So I have my boots here. They go over it like this, um, press around my calf. 
so that water and uh, debris can't get into the open part of my boots. Um, it's one of those things you don't think you need, but when it's wet out, it makes a huge difference. Uh, I have my rain pants here. Again, not, not a Gore-Tex. Um, it's been my life dream to get Gore-Tex rain pants. It's the one thing I've never bought, maybe one day. Um, and then I have my, my three outer shells here, which I'm going to show you. And all of these are Terex, by the way, which is a great brand. So I have my in-camp fleece, so it's a, it's a medium weight fleece. Uh, Gore-Tex Pro Shell rain jacket. Um, and then I have a Goose Down uh, Arteryx jacket as well. Uh, and then they, these both have those on. Uh, one thing that I do like about the Arteryx brand is that it is meant for outdoorsy and active people. I think they originally started as a climbing company. So you can actually move when you have the gear on and be really functional. Next up, we have all my camera gear. So um, right now I'm using some of it, so I, I obviously can't show you that. I'm shooting with my new uh, Sony a6000. Uh, but I'm also bringing my GoPro, GoPro accessories, uh, extra memory card for my mirrorless camera. Um, I'm going to be using a class 10 uh, 128 gig card. Uh, I also have a, a smaller case than the one that came with it, so this will get me through everything I need. Uh, I think most of my shots are also going to be shot with a polarized lens on it, uh, so I should get some rich colors. Uh, and then finally, over here, I have uh, all of my gadgets. So because I'm bringing a decent amount of electronic equipment, um, primarily my, my phone, where maybe I'll just take some, some quick shots on the trail, um, GoPro, and then my mirrorless camera, um, I have two 16,000 milliamp portable chargers. Uh, so I can keep everything juiced up. I have my headlamp. I think uh, this is a black diamond. I think it's about 70 lumens. 70 or 110? I think 110 is the highest, but uh, the regular shoot mode is like 60 or 70 uh, lumens. Some extra batteries, so this is not a lithium ion um, headlamp. Uh, a blister kit, so if I get hot spots, it's basically the same thing as moleskin. Uh, and then I have all my medical stuff over here. So. Uh, two things, prescriptions, I actually went to the doctor, believe it or not. Uh, I have my EpiPens, because I'm allergic to wasps, and then I have um, altitude pills. So, I've heard mixed things on these, they cost me 15 bucks, but uh, apparently it's supposed to minimize the effects of altitude sickness, so uh, I might give it a go. I think the ironic thing, uh, the side effect on these is fatigue. So I don't know if I want to be fatigued climbing up a mountain. Other things, and my toothbrush. Teeth, are, teeth health is important. Uh, I have some of these like emergency things, so these like things you mix with water, get some vitamins in. Um, these are also great to take if you've been drinking before you go to bed, It'll help minimize the hangover. Uh, melatonin, because there's it's eight hours ahead on there, so I just want to make sure I'll be able to sleep at night. Ibuprofen, Tylenol, Sunblock, Pepto-Bismol, antihistamine, uh, lip balm, and that type of stuff. Um, have my belt. So again, it's not a uh, belt that has a pin, so it's flexible, it's a little more functional in that way. Uh, power converter for when I'm in the hotel. And then I finally bought some nice sunglasses. So these are uh, uh, Native, I think is the company. Uh, they're polarized, they cost me about 130 bucks. You can swap out the lenses. Uh, but they've, they've actually been amazing to wear. Um, and the reason why I got them is so that they cover my entire face. Uh, so almost no lights gets in, so if I'm in a really bright area or I have snow reflecting light under my face, it's not actually going to affect my vision. I have my in-camp shoes here. So these are a, a lightweight hiking boot. These are Merrells. Uh, again, Gore-Tex boots, but much lighter than uh, the Aslo's that I bought for the trip. Uh, pack towel. And then one of my favorite purchases for this trip, uh, this is my day pack. So it's uh, 40 liters. Uh, it's well be hiking with on a daily basis, so um, about half of what you see here will be in here, all my gadgets, um, what I need during the day, so buff, water, sunglasses, uh, all my jackets, certain jackets will go in here, um, camera, I think I said that already. Uh, so again, pack's important. Uh, I like this because it has a lot of, uh, I put a carabiners on here so I can clip stuff onto the outside. It also has an external chamber so I can easily access things. Um, and it actually came with a built-in rain pack or a rain cover. 
which is in the base. So if it does start raining, I can cover it up and none of my stuff's gonna get wet. So I will post a, a link with all of my fun gear before I leave uh, so that you guys can check out what items you might need if you're going to climb Kilimanjaro. Um, but if you have any questions, just let me know and I hope you learned something.